Uh, script writers from Hollywood uh, are not as imaginative as the universe, and we just need to observe. That's my advice on any blind date. Observe the other side before you have an opinion. Uh, in this case, the object is anomalous because it comes in the plane of the planets around the sun to within five degrees, and the chance of that happening at random is one in 500. More, moreover, it's uh, very large. It's comparable to the size of Manhattan Island, at least uh, a million times more massive than the first interstellar object that we discovered about eight years ago. And so the question is, why haven't we seen a million small objects before we see such a giant one? Uh, and uh, it also behaved in unusual ways. There was a glow during July and August, a glow extending towards the sun. And only in September, it started developing a tail away from the sun, the way comets do. Uh, and it has also arrived from the direction of the wow signal from 1977, a radio signal that we couldn't figure out that was definitely extragalactic. Uh, so it has a lot of anomalies, about eight of them that I listed, each of them with a small probability. And my point is that although it may well be a comet and of natural origin, you know, it could also be uh, something like a Trojan horse, you know, a black swan event where we say it's very unlikely for a spaceship to arrive at our backyard. But nevertheless, we should keep that as a possibility. Okay.